Hi guys, magandang araw and welcome to this problem set for pumps. So basically, mag-solve tayo dito ng mga problems related dun sa pumps and pump system. So what we will do is start with the very basic uh, equations and then later on we will do some more complex problem. So we have this problem number one that says a pump is to deliver 150 gallons per minute of water at a head of 120 meters. If pump efficiency is 70%, what is the horsepower rating of motor required to drive the pump? Consider 90% efficiency of electric motor. So this is a very common problem. So may required na GPM. There's a given head. So a calculated head na yan. And then pump efficiency is considered 70%, which is very common range of efficiency for pumps and centrifugal machines, including fans and compressors, and then 90% uh, efficiency for electric motor. So, gawa lang tayo dito ng simple figure and data. Simple illustration, wherein we have an electric motor on the side view coupled directly to a pump. Okay, so let's take this as our point number one, and then point number two. Again, mayroong efficiency na binigay para sa electric motor, which is nm is 90 percent and then pump efficiency np is equivalent to 70 percent now yung volume flow rate na binigay is 150 gallons or gpm gallons per minute and then the head is equivalent to 120 meters so ang pinaka question dito is what is the rating mag select tayo ng motor para dun sa ating pump so Lagyan natin P, motor. Okay, so solution. Take note, makakuha natin yung power ng motor, okay, by simply first get it, getting yung ating water power, which is yung work na ginagawa ng pump, over the efficiency ng pump, and then over ng efficiency ng electrical motor. So, mangyari dito is PW, which is basically the output. Okay. And then take note, yung efficiency is P output over the P input. So ang P input natin dito is yung electrical motor. So divert ko lang, transpose. So this means that efficiency ng water power over the efficiency ng pump multiplied by efficiency ng electrical motor. And then we'll get the value ng power ng motor. Okay, so to get the PW, Note that we know this equation, okay? That is volume flow rate multiplied by the specific weight multiplied by the head, given lahat yan. So dito binanggit na ang yung ipapump natin is H2O. So walang binigay kung ano yung specific weight and therefore we will assume na at standard temperature siya and that case we will assume specific weight is equivalent to 9.8066 kilonewton per cubic meter. Again, this is the standard specific weight ng water. And if we have to use it, pwede natin gamitin kapag kawawalang binigay sa problem. Okay? Right. So, PW is equivalent to, again, volume flow rate is 150 gallons. So, may involve dito conversion, guys. So, I'll convert na lang to 1 gallon, as we know, is equivalent to 3.785 liters okay and then convert ko lang ito into uh, cubic meter na lang so 1000 liters is 1 cubic meter ginawa kong cubic meter kasi nga na cubic meter yung gagamitin nating specific weight okay so multiplied by 9.8066 this one is kilonewton per cubic meter multiplied by the given head 120 meters okay unit analysis tayo guys Gallons, gallons will cancel out, liters will cancel out, and then take note, ah, my minute pa pala tayo dito. So we have to convert this into seconds, okay? So one minute is equivalent to 60 seconds. This will also cancel out, right? And then cubic meter, mga cancel, and then kilonewton meter is kilojoule. And kilojoule per second is kilowatts, right? So yan yung magiging unit natin. This must be in terms of kilowatts. Thus, going back in this equation, okay, yung P motor natin is equivalent to this capacity, okay, 
over the efficiency ng pump, which is 70%, 0.7, and then efficiency ng motor is 0.9, equal sign. This will be in terms of kilowatts. And as we know, 0.746 okay, kilowatts okay, is equivalent to 1 HP. Why I have to convert this into HP? Kasi yung mga options natin, guys, is naka HP. So this means this will also cancel out. Ang magiging unit natin sa motor is equivalent to HP. Okay? And so using yung ating calculator, we have, okay, 150 multiplied by 3.785 multiplied by 9.8066 multiplied by 120, which is the head, 120, multiplied by, oops, lana. Okay, divide ko na lang ng 1,000, and then we have to multiply this by 60, equal sign. So 11.13, 11.13 kilowatts. And then over 0.7, divided by 0.9, okay, 17, uh, that's in here. 17.67 tapos convert pa natin into HP so divided by 0.746 tayo dito call sign so 23.69 or approximately 24 HP